Cheers! Welcome, Welcome to, to Movie Bitches! A retro review episode 19. A very big episode. Big. Huge. Huge! Tonight we're reviewing Pretty Woman. Pretty Woman. First things first, shout out to our wine sponsor, Wink. Try wink.com slash movie bitches. You get $22 off your first month of wine. <laughs> so I accidentally, um convinced you all that we were retro reviewing Pretty Woman by posting the Laura Sanchiacomo picture yeah. from our Labyrinth episode. Yep. Uh, and then we decided, well, why not? Let's just review it anyway. Yeah. We saw it was on Hulu. And so we're like, oh, there right. you go. Stream Perfect. It. Let's do it. Yeah. OK, so I hadn't seen this movie in a while. But I have seen it, I don't know, 5,000 times. Um, it was a staple. I watched it all the time. I did not. I've certainly seen it. Yeah. It's on TV a lot, I feel yeah. like, or yeah. it was, I don't know, whatever. Yeah. I remember this movie very, very fondly, and I was, like, excited to revisit it. Holds up. Turns out, I mean, I'm somewhat surprised. A little? Somewhat. Just well, because, you... you know, you never know. It fully fucking holds up. When you look at the synopsis, right, on paper. On paper, it's Oh, not a work. man picks up a prostitute and they fall in love when he uses her for a business deal for a week and pays her. It's like, this is a rom com, you say? Right, right. Apparently, it's it was originally a much darker movie. Mm. Where, like, she was all actually addicted to drugs and, like, there was. Kit died and, like, oh, it was a, a, an old script, first edition. Yikes. was, like, a much darker movie. And there's sort of little vestiges of that yeah. throughout, which yeah. I think is important. I agree. I mean, I think this might be the definition of a movie that shouldn't work but does. Like, sure. it might be the best example yes. of, like, you get some fucking charismatic stars with some undeniable chemistry, and I'm in. Bingo. <laughs> I am in. Bingo, bingo, here's my vagina. <laughs> I mean, Richard Gere really does it for you in this movie, right? I was like, oh, okay, I, I remember why. Yes, Richard Gere. Yes. So, okay, I'm just gonna, we're gonna talk about it. In the middle of this movie, I was just staring dreamily at him, and I was like, yes, daddy. <laughs> right? And then I was like, oh, I don't want them to remake Pretty Woman. Oh, no. I mean, I do. But I want it to be Pretty Woman where it's like a daddy. Where it's Tilda Swinton mm -hmm. as the rich lady who picks up a male prostitute? I mean, kind of on board for that, <laughs> yes. But and also... It's, and it's Robbie Amell? Yes. So, definitely <laughs> down with your version. So, so, yes. So, I was thinking, like, what if it was, like, a gay Pretty Woman <gasps> situation. Love but it. also, maybe the Pretty Woman is a drag queen. And, like, maybe... The drag queen helps the like rich uptight guy rather than like, like melting his come heart. Out. Come out. Not mad. You're welcome. They would have to handle it. It would have to be just the, the, so. Yes. Because the, there there would there would definitely be a moment of, oh, you're a man. Right. 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 Like, oh no, I picked up a you know. Yes. And then reject this. But oh maybe I oh, Or yeah. Maybe. Or maybe he always wanted it. Right. But he like doesn't want to like, admit that like, he wants it. He knew. Yeah. I mean Yes, it's Tatiana, but like the same parts. That's what it's called. Same part. <laughs> well, you know what this movie was originally supposed to be titled? No. Three thousand. Three thousand oh, dollars. That was the name of the no! movie. No. No. Could you imagine? Holy shit! Holy shit! <laughs> now I don't know if it's dollar sign three thousand mm. or if it's three thousand dollars. Mm, like three what, grand. What would be printed on there? But oh. either way, smart choices yeah. were made. Marketing team nailed it on that one. <laughs> we'll talk more about Richard Gere. Oh, absolutely. He's got that weird, sexy thing. Is it weird? He's got that James Spader thing where you're like, you're kind of freaky. I like it. Oh. That kind of thing going on. Okay. Where like you don't know what's coming next. Sure. That's what I mean. Okay. He's got that thing mm. where it's not just like, oh, you're hot. It's something else. It's another it, layer. There's, there is another there's layer. There's another layer. There's another layer. That is very well, true. Well, and one of the reasons I think this casting is so perfect is because I can, like, picture Richard Gere picking up a prostitute. You know what I mean? Like, I could see him doing that. Where there's other actors where I'd be like, eh, I'm not buying it. Now, what if there was, like, a Fifty Shades movie, but, like, for the geriatric crowd, where it's, like, Richard Gere Go and Jane Fonda? I don't know. <laughs> that might be too... I feel like Jane. She's no. She's, she's just Jane. Yeah, she's which not is lovely. No, but Mary Steenburgen. Mm. 
I mean, I would say Diane Lane, but we already saw their chemistry in Nights of Rodanthe. Oh my god. I mean, their chemistry wasn't the worst part of it. It wasn't movie. the worst part. Helen Mirren? Yes. <laughs> Nailed it! Yes! <laughs> Actually, oh yes. <laughs> Oh, yes. <laughs> Sorry, was that creepy? I love it. <laughs> okay. So anyway, Pretty Woman. It starts. Yes. And we have a magic trick. <laughs> the the mat. I mean, I guess it's like money and you never really know where it's coming what from. What even was this? You can lose this? it or you can gain oh, it. Is that, it was, was like that? a... Okay, surely you're really visual, reading into it. A visual representation of like, you know, Comes money and exchanging hands. Who men knows? Just play and, with oh, it. And... Oh, and giant penny? <laughs> And we never see that man's face. Never see? I was like, who is it? For a second, I thought it was supposed to be Richard Gere flirting <laughs> it up with know? the ladies. <laughs> and I was like, what is this? And we get introduced to Amy Yazbek in this putrid green silk pajamas outfit. It was chartreuse, but it was not attractive. Yeah. Jason Alexander is so good at being the schmuckiest schmuck in this movie. Yeah. What do I know him from? Seinfeld? Oh, probably. The touring production of The Producers? No. That's what I, I saw him in. Huh. He was playing Nathan Lane's part. Wow. He was Max Bialystak. Is he good? I mean, he's no Nathan Lane, but he was good. It was funny it, during Betrayed, you know? Mm-hmm. Betrayed! In the middle of the song, he has like a moment of reflection, and usually Nathan Lane is just like, oh, boy, things are happening quickly. And when Jason Alexander did it, he goes... Oh, well, what do you think? Is he doing all right? Well, he's not Nathan Lane, but you know, he's pretty good. He's doing okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then he goes right back into the song, and I was like, you get it. We're at this party up Coldwater Canyon. Well, Laurel, then Coldwater. It, it's it's got to be off Mulholland somewhere. Somewhere. Because it took a real long time. I mean, so he's, he takes Jason Alexander's Lotus, and he's driving around the city for five hours. Hours. I mean, it was like mid afternoon, and then right. by the time he picks her up, it's Night. Night. He's driving around for so long, there's a mid credit song change. Yeah. Well, because then we get to introduce to her. Right. She gets her song. Yes. She's a real wild one. There's so many nice little touches in this movie that just endear you to her. You know, like, everybody's taking a Sharpie to their black shoes and, you know, there's like little details throughout where you're like, oh, she's, she's so great. She's so yeah. natural. She just, I want to hang out with her. Yes. Yes. So to continue the, this movie shouldn't work conversation. Right. I think part of the reason, obviously the chemistry and he cared charisma for days, but I think also the writing, he says, I never treated you like a prostitute later on. Yes. And I think the movie never treats her like a prostitute. Exactly. And because of that, or I mean, and let's it be clear, it doesn't see, villainize, it, it doesn't, doesn't villainize judge her. Or particularly judge her. Yeah, particularly. You particularly. know, it, it's not you're a horrible person, right. you need a new career, you're obviously And it doesn't a make us pity her ever. She, she's not a victim. We only pity her when people are dicks to her. Yeah. And they're usually women. Yeah. He okay. picks her up and they're hanging out in his hotel for hours and, and she's just hanging out being watching fun. I like, love Lucy and you're yeah, like, Yeah, oh, she fun. seems great. Like I, yeah. You don't have to sleep with her. So. I mean, he does then have her blow him while Lucy is silented in the corner. But, you know. He was paying her. It's there true. was a transaction. It was. And she... Acknowledged that. That was... They had a moment. Yeah. The time has come. All right. But I'm going to get my blowjob oh. pillow. Cool? Great. Love it. I'm a professional. Let's keep it real. Loved it. Love it. No, it's true. It does not judge her like you think it would. Yes. And it doesn't do too much fussy business about like, it's her first time. Like they easily right. could have written it around like, it's her first night on the streets. Yeah. She's not really like this. She's an angel. Right. Um, and it would have been like, fuck you. Yeah. Total fuck you. Agreed. And they could have really um, demonized the other prostitutes and been like, well, she's different. Vivian's different, which they do a little bit. A little bit. But that's more like her personality. Yes. It's not her, like, you're a better right. person. Right, 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 right. Morally. Right. But they easily could have been like, oh, Kit, this fucking crack addict. Right. You know, right. terrible, right. terrible person who judge her. No. But Vivian's different. And it doesn't do that. No. And I think that is a, a very key. One it is the, very one of the key. very key things. Well, the other thing that I think is key, though, too, is that so he, his and her meet... Yeah. Cute. Yeah, he's not he's picking her up. Actually, a meet cute. Like, I mean, he's not picking her up. And I think that helps. Hey, Sugar, you looking for a date? No, I want to find Beverly Hills. Can you give me directions?
it sets his intentions. Yes. And it sets our relationship with him yep. to not be too sleazy. We're nope. not grossed out by him. Yeah. We're like, this guy doesn't even know how to drive a stick. But she does. Hundred dollars an hour. Pretty stiff. Well, no, but it's got potential. I mean, the banter uh, uh, right off the bat is just like, bing, bang, bang, yep. bang, 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 yep. you know? Yep. They're having a great time. They are. They feel like, they seem like they're people that like knew each other for years, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, okay, so I looked it up. How big of an age gap do you think there is between them in this movie? 10 years. So she was 23. Okay. He was 41. <gasps> wow. Right? Wow. Right? So he's all, I mean, he's pretty old then. I was surprised because he looks good. I was shocked that there was 18 years ago. Yeah, them. I did not because realize Because I think that. Julie Roberts always feels womanly. Yes. She doesn't feel like a little childish. Yeah. I and agree. yet she can play playful very yes. well. Yes, it's that's a very true. It's a fine balance. It's a fine balance and she nailed it. Well, then we were looking in the credits and... It came up, uh, editor, oh, Priscilla yeah. Friendly. Yeah. I was like, fuck yeah, female editor. I mean, there's more female editors than there are directors. Yes. But I was like, hell yeah, looked her up. <laughs> she totally edited Book Club. Oh, love it. And The Proposal. Love that movie, too. 27 Dresses. You yeah, I didn't hate 27 Dresses. It's okay, it's, it's okay. She didn't write it, she just edited it. <laughs> it's all right. American Pie. Oh, wow. I know, right? And No Small Affair, which is like this super cute 80s John Cryer Demi Moore oh. rom-com. Fun. That's like silly and fun. Well, and then of course we have to talk about Gary Marshall. That's depressing and it's expensive. Two words I hate. You know the words I like? I like the word peppy and the word cheap. Peppy and cheap. Of course. Of course. <laughs> we have to talk about Gary Marshall. Beverly Hills. You're in Beverly Hills. <laughs> You're here. That's Sylvester Stallone's house right there. <laughs> Who obviously also directed Princess Diaries. Yes. And Princess well, Diaries too. <laughs> and we're, I mean, we're not at Hector yet, but we will talk about it because I like that he was just like, well, so obviously he has to just repeat his role. I mean, well, that's what is uh, Larry Miller and Hector Elizondo and I think the elevator guy are often in all of his movies. Like, they mm. show up in a lot of his movies. He did Overboard. He did Beaches. He did Not a Day. Why? <laughs> and Valentine's Day, and New Year's Eve. Oh, it's a dark period. <laughs> yeah. None of the, there's better movies that he's done than just those. I just said Beaches, Overboard, well, sure, Pretty Woman. Overboard? We're counting Overboard? Overboard's great. Okay. Another movie that shouldn't work with does. There you go. So maybe he has that touch. He's got that touch. Yeah. And he did Runaway Bride, which oh, is fine. It's okay. Richard Gere had that, it was that long hair period of his that wasn't, mm -hmm. wasn't working. Mm -mm. But Joan Cusack is great in that movie. Well, Joan Cusack is great in every movie. Like, of course. So yeah, it starts and it's it's pretty grimy. They really captured that L.A. '90s disgusting thing that was going yeah. on in L.A. in the '90s. Just the streets and just like the drugs and and we get a uh, well, it's not a cameo because he wasn't famous, but we get a very small part by Hank Azaria. Oh yeah. As the detective. As like this detective. And yeah. Like, who's gonna? I mean, well, so this was one of the the serious scenes, I guess. That yeah. Was. They find a dead prostitute. Like, it starts and it's like, there was a dead prostitute in the alley. Holy shit. Yeah. And she thinks, I mean, it's not overly dramatic, but she has a moment of like, that could be Kit. That could yep. be my roommate. Oh my God. Or it could be me. Or, obviously, or it could have been me as well. Okay. Kit and her have a whole conversation about, oh, should we have him be our pimp? And then he'll run our lives and take our money. No, you're right. We say who, we say when, we say how much. They really right. define her rules, which I think is important. I say when. I say who. I say when. <laughs> I say who. I was thinking about, there's another really fun Julia Roberts movie. It's not even a Julia Roberts movie because it's before she was famous. It's mm. technically a Justine Bateman wow. film. <laughs> but it's really cute. It's called Satisfaction. And it's like, they're a girl group and it's the summer mm. before college and they're gonna drive across the country and like try and make it. And fun. it's super cute. And just putting that out there. Cool. Nobody's heard of it. It's great. So can I tell you who were the two like kind of front runners to play Vivian? Oh sure. That they turned it down. Oh. They like said no. Interesting. Yeah, tell me. Molly Ringwald. That would have been very different. Obviously, it just wouldn't work. Like, I don't. Well, and the the next one I think is the closest to possibly working. Sandra Bullock. I mean, 
Yes, because I love Sandy, and also I think that she could. She, she has could make that work. effervescent, yeah, infectious personality, yes. Yes. and she's beautiful and gorgeous. Yes, yes. Um, I think Julie Roberts is fucking killing it. Yeah, but if Sandy could absolutely do it. Close. I was like, yeah, I could see it. Yeah, I could see it, and I wouldn't be mad about yeah. it. Abs I don't know if the undeniable chemistry would be there. I don't know. I don't know if Richard Gere and Sandra Bullock have been in a movie together. Not that I could think of. No, but I would have liked that. How about now? I mean, I'm still pretty much down for it, although she looks much better than he does. She's much younger. Sure. You mean now? Yes. He still looks great. I mean, he looks good, but like, she looks great. I mean, she's Sandy. Yeah. What are we talking about, Andrew? <laughs> Other people that were considered for Richard Gere's part? Oh boy. Are you ready for this? Oh no. Al Pacino. Oh no. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> be terrible. It would be terrible. He would be the type where I'd be like waiting ah, for him to, to murder pick up her. Exactly. He was in, he was attached during when it was the <laughs> gritty drama. Yeah. Oh God, no. No, hard pass. Hard pass. Charles Grodin, which seems insane. He's the dad from Beethoven. <gasps> no, that'd be so weird. <laughs> so weird. No. I mean, I love Charles Grodin like, in a no. comedy, yeah. but I was like, what? Like, I read that, I was like, what? No. Daniel Day-Lewis. <laughs> okay. No, it's a pass for me. It's a pass for me, too. I mean, he's got his thing, but it's not this thing, no. and I'm, it's a pass. Yeah. Denzel Washington. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. I feel like Denzel often takes himself very seriously. Right. And maybe I'm forgetting a, a, a movie where he doesn't, but like... That's my only reservation, where I feel like Richard Gere is, like, down to clown. Yeah, I agree. Christopher Lambert from Highlander. There could be only one. From Tarzan. Not that Tarzan. The Legend of Greystoke. The one person that's on the list that I was like, yeah, I could see it. Harrison Ford. Oh, of course. But, like, <laughs> but also not just because I'm biased. Like, I'm not saying it would be as good. It's the closest. Would he be too old at this point? He looked great. What can I say? Maybe he's too handsome that you'd be like, there's no way he doesn't. Like, there's no way. Like, Richard Gere is hot, but like, Harrison Ford is like an Adonis. <laughs> he's Harrison Ford. Wow. He's Harrison Ford. Sure. Although, I don't know, Richard Gere in this movie. He was really giving it to you. Oh, yes. I mean, I'm, I, was, I loved it. It's working. It's firing on all cylinders. <laughs> on all four cylinders. All four cylinders. It's like it's on uh, rails. Rails. You know who else I was just thinking could maybe pull it off? Patrick Dempsey? Oh, yes. But no. So who were you thinking? Um, Bruce Willis. Yes. I was thinking of Fifth Element. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. It can work. It could work. I don't necessarily believe him as the businessman as much. No, not as much. And also, I don't really know if there'd be good chemistry between him and Julia. Him and Sandy? Maybe. Anyway, I don't know why we're talking about casting this movie because it's fucking perfect. <laughs> it's perfect. It's so, so like, great. Anyway. Yeah. To me, in this movie, Richard Gere is really just endearing and like prim and proper. But at the same time, Layer. I could literally see this okay. movie turning and him just like doing a bunch of blow off of the desk. <laughs> or turning into secretary. Like, Ooh. he's got that fussy, you know, buttoned up. Right. But what's really under the surface here going I on? I would have liked a little bit more of that just movie. a little bit Where more? like the sex scenes were like a little bit more aggressive. <laughs> They're right on the edge. Yeah, it's like, oh, we just a little bit more. I mean, I guess... Now that you say it, yeah. when you like look back at the blowjob scene and he's just kind of like, yeah, it's time now. Like, there's some attitude there where you're like, right? okay. It's a little okay, tuned. Okay. Like, I'm, I'm ready. He's into that power dynamic. Right? Which right. I don't know what that says now, though. But yeah, we, we can play with it. The power shifts mm -hmm. back and forth and back and forth, and that's why this works. Yeah. Because he's in charge, she's in charge. Bah, bah. We get introduced to Kit DeLuca. Yes. At the Blue Banana. His bathroom is bigger than the Blue Banana! 
she's also great. Look, you came here, I gave you some money, I gave you a place to stay, and some valuable vocational advice. It was on my case, I had to give him something, so don't irritate me. Great. And plays it right on the edge as well, where, you know, she's a little less shiny than, than yes. Vivian. You know, yes. she's been at it longer, she's taken a couple drugs, like you could see her going down the wrong, the real wrong path, right? Sure. Like she could really be that woman in the alley in a couple months. And I love that by the end, you know, she's sort of steered her ship yeah. in a better direction, yeah. a more That's healthy true. direction. Now that we talk about this, mm. I really like is that it's kind of, they treat, and he says this to yeah. her, we're the same, we both screw people for money. Yeah. And they both learn how to be better people. Sure. Whatever that means. But like, yes. but I think, I like the approach that it's like, oh, well, her line of work mm -hmm. has is okay, but also has downsides. And, and his, his line well. of work is okay, but also has downsides. Yeah. Do you think I look like Carol Channing? No, I love this look. It's very glamorous. Do I look like Carol Channing? Oh my God, yeah. yes, you do. Yeah, kind of. Raspberries! <laughs> and this outfit. Oh my God, Oh my outfit. God, the dress and the boots. And then the cover-up with the, the driver's hat. The driver's that hat. That she just happened to have. the to usher's, in. the like movie theater usher's yeah. coat. Yeah. And he, yeah, he's like, I need directions, and I love this. He's like, oh, well, for five dollars. Right. Like, I'm not paying you for directions. Fine, it's ten. You can't charge me for directions. I can do anything I want to, baby. I ain't lost. Love it! Oh my god, it's so good. Just like from the get, yeah, she's yeah. just like, oh, I'm in charge of yes. myself. He picks her up. Lights, lights would be good here. Lights would be good here. <laughs> lights, lights would be good here. Just grinding those gears. He so, really got that privileged, rich, richy rich, yep. rich from your, rich from youth, you know, um, Arthur thing down. Yep. Yeah. So how is it you know so little about cars? My first car was a limousine. Would you like to accompany to my room? <laughs> and her look just like, yeah, yeah I nailed it. I'd be very pleased if you would accompany me into the hotel. You got it. It's undeniable chemistry. Fun chemistry. Oh yeah. Oh, honey, you know what's happened? I've got a runner in my pantyhose. I'm not wearing any pantyhose. <laughs> what well, color me happy? There's a sofa in here for two. What well, color me happy? There's a sofa in here for two. She's just so good. <laughs> she puts her whole leg up, just like. <laughs> just so good, yeah. so good. And they go to the penthouse. I mean. We gotta talk about this penthouse. We also have to talk about the elevator boy. Oh yeah, the elevator boy. Love him. He has great face. Well, so then we get to the penthouse. Oh, yeah. oh boy. I This was the biggest uh, shocker from my last viewing, which oh. was, I don't know, 15 years ago, whatever the, it was. The dated, the horrific, interior, horrific. horrific interior design of the penthouse. <laughs> And I remember as a kid being like, ooh, the pen. Oh, look, right. that's so cool. Well, I mean, the, the layout it. is fabulous. The actual space. Yeah, yeah like, love it. <laughs> the square um, footage. Yeah. Approved. Absolutely. The, oh boy, oh, boy. it's like, everything's peach or rose. The Rachel Ashwell, like, prints. But then there's also a lot of, like, oriental A vases. lot of orientalism, which was very 80s. Very 80s. Ugh. The little drummer boy stools that are... <laughs> Bar, like, a lot of choices, a lot, a lot going on. There's a lot going on. There it was, was like, like six different themes. Yeah. It was like, oh, let's update this room to be like pastel. Like the Madonna Inn. Like, yeah. and in this room, it will be all peach. And right. Like, Ugh. 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 Even Ugh. the sheets. Ugh. Ugh. And then there's like wrought iron candelabras. Yeah. And, like, one of the walls is striped. And then there's like all these like fake flowers everywhere. Oh it's like, oh my god. Awful. Yeah. I wonder what the penthouse is like now. At the Reach Bev Well. The Reach Bev Well. I could probably look it up. I'm just, I, we're going to put photos up. Oh. oh my god, I love it. She's like, let's get down to business. I don't, I got, I'm She's being like, paid by the hour. hour. I don't have time to waste. Yep. He's sort of feeling her out, seeing if he really wants to do this, I think. Yes. You know, like, because we find out he has just broken up with his girlfriend in the first scene, so yes. he's feeling lonely and vulnerable. Sure. And like, do I really want to be doing this? Yeah, well then she whips out her buffet of safety. I got red, I got green, I got yellow. I'm out of purple, but I do have one gold circle coin left. The condom of champions. Nothing is getting through this sucker. What do you say, hmm? A buffet of safety. I'm a safety girl. Yeah. And I love that, you know, she's responsible. Yep. She says, I got <laughs> green, yellow, I'm out of purple, but I got... <laughs> One dime only. The giant was like, the, looks like one of the pennies from the beginning of the it movie. It did look like one of the pennies. gold one. A special gold condom. Safety first. Out of a little condom boot pocket. I mean, I don't know where it was. I don't know where they were. No. Where'd they go? And she's sort of taking charge. You know, he's like 
pussyfitting around for lack of a better word. Listen, I, I appreciate this whole seduction scene you've got going, but let me give you a tip. I'm a sure thing. Well, I always loved the scene with the floss. Oh, yes. Where, like, he thinks she's doing drugs and, and she's like, all embarrassed done. and she's just like, I had seeds in my teeth. And then he, he has that moment of, like, that's, I think that's the first moment when he's really like, oh, she's something. Yeah. This is dental floss. Yeah, so I had all those strawberry seeds. And you should neglect your gums. She's watching out of Lucy reruns. Love it. Here for it. <laughs> Always. I've seen this one. <laughs> right? I've never seen this most famous episode of television. I, they, I mean, next to the chocolate, chocolate factory. The ooh, two. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> ooh, Gibri, Gibri, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> but she's gonna blow him, and she, he's like, "Well, what do you do?" And she's like, "Everything except I don't kiss on the mouth." And then he goes, oh, "Neither yeah. do I." And I was like, "What does that mean?" Right? <laughs> he's afraid of intimacy. I but mean, like, yes, but like in... Are we supposed to believe he wasn't kissing his ex-wife on the lips? Right. What did they do when he got married? I mean, maybe it was more metaphorical. Maybe he meant like with prostitutes he doesn't normally kiss on the lips? I'm confused. But I don't kiss on the mouth. Neither do I. Oh my god, it's the next morning. He's ordered her everything. Oh, everything breakfast. on the menu. Everything on the menu. Seemed wasteful. With his giant cell phone. His oh my god. giant yes. 1991 cell phone. I was like, uh-huh. Having flashbacks. And then she grabs, the, this was... I was always obsessed with the way she ate this croissant. Well, it, okay, this is, well, sure, because she, like, peels like, apart. She, like, eats only the middle. Oh, my God, now I want a croissant. Yeah, Ooh. me too. Oh, that sounds mm. so good. Yeah. Chocolate croissant? Yeah, Nutella. No, but it, this was interesting to me, too. The way that she grabbed the croissant, for yeah. whatever reason, reminded me of Aladdin <laughs> with the loaf of bread. I mean, maybe, you know, uh, she was channeling. Exactly. I mean, Aladdin came out after, but maybe she was, you know, like, oh, I don't really... Feel comfortable here. Right. Oh. This is when we get introduced to her hair. Oh, her yes. Her glorious. Red. Her glorious hair. Better. Red. Better. I was like reading into the like, oh, my hair's big and curly when I'm a prostitute, but when I'm a fancy lady, it is blow dried. And I was like, all right. I mean, we'll talk about the ponytail. The pony tail? I mean, it was just. <laughs> she should have worn it to the polo match. It would have been, she would have blended right in. Where'd you go? <laughs> you don't sleep, you don't do drugs, you don't drink, you hardly eat. What do you do, Edward? You don't make anything, you don't sell anything. What do you do? And then it reminded me of say anything. I don't want to sell anything, buy anything, or process anything as a career. I don't want to sell anything bought or processed, or buy anything sold or processed, or process anything sold, bought, or processed. And then the bathtub. I just want your kiss. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Don't you just love Prince? Kiss. Don't you just love Prince? More than life itself. I mean, it's that cliched classic example of the guy you're supposed to love, right? Like, he's damaged. Right. You want to fix him. He's a rich billionaire. He's slightly older and more mature. You know, like, all of those things. Sure. And yet, it totally works. You know, like, even though it's, like, that epitome example of, like, cliche guy. Sure. That girls are supposed to like. I mean, but I'm just like. I, I mean, mean that's, that's it's a cliche for a reason. Is that yeah, what you're saying? Yeah. Is that what you're saying? He's so damaged. Oh wow. But he plays the piano, so oh, it's sexy. Oh boy, we'll talk about that scene. Six nights at three hundred is eighteen hundred. You want days too. Two thousand. Three thousand. Done. You know she what? haggles her oh, way to three thousand dollars. She does. I would have stayed for two. I would have paid four. <gasps> <laughs> they don't shy away from. The fact that she's a prostitute. No. Like, she's like, oh, I'll be your beck and call girl. Like, yeah. they have a bunch of fun things where she's not trying to hide herself or necessarily right. necessarily pretend to be someone she's not. Like, he right. buys her the fancy clothes and she's sure. acting more sort of whatever, but she's very much herself. Yes. And when it's just the two of them, they're not like, let's all pretend and like, Right. You know. Well, she never hides her sexuality either. No. Which is really nice. Yeah. You know, it's just like, I mean, even when they're at the polo match, Oh, I'm just using him for sex. I'm not trying to get with him. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Love it. Everybody is trying to land him. Well, I'm not trying to land him. I'm just using him for sex. Well, all the women in this movie are either bitches or Bridget. <laughs> Bridget is great. He's not really my uncle, Bridge. They, they never, never are. are. <laughs> Bridge, he's not really my uncle. 
They never are, dear. Well, I guess Kit isn't a bitch. No. Unreliable, but not a bitch. Right. Can I call you Eddie? Not if you expect me to answer. <laughs> They do do a really good job of her being playful and childish, mm -hmm. and yet very sexual and womanly, mm -hmm. and him being her quote unquote father daddy figure, sure. right? Not in that way exclusively, but that sort of dynamic, they kind of both lean into that. But then she also has that kind of like maternal, mm -hmm. caring, yes. like when they're in the tub later, the sexy, the sexy therapy bath? The sexy therapy bath. Loved it. You You've know. got 88 inches of therapy right here. 88 inches of therapy wrapped around you for the bargain price of $3,000. $3, I mean, okay, I know we poo-pooed it, and I don't think it's a good name for a good title for a film, <laughs> but there's something that I really do like about, like, when you think about it now, 3000 yeah. really becomes, like, this little... It's a theme. Yeah. You can see why they were going to call it that, because they yes. keep talking about yes. it. All right, I'm going to leave money for you at the desk. You're going to forget it. I'm yeah. staying at the Regency Beverly Wilshire. Write it down. Yeah. You writing it down? Yeah. Write it down. Reach, yeah, I'm writing. Reach, Bev, Will. Bev, Will. And then she doesn't come for a week. For a week. So three hundred dollars there. Where, where should I go for for nice clothes on him? In Beverly Hills. Yeah. Rodeo Drive, baby. Rodeo Drive, baby. Yeah. So then we get introduced to Rodeo Drive. I mean, this is the most iconic. Absolutely. Well, not yet. First, they shy her away. I think the shopping blurs together into an iconic moment. Oh, you know. The shopping. Oh my God, her walking down like, oh, I'm just, just oh. a woman. I'm, Oh, I'm just a, a pretty woman walking down the street. Oh. I see, did they? She walks into this Rachel Ashwell Ugh. cactus filled. Yeah, I was like, they were right to send you away. Ralph there was Loren. nothing there for you. I wasn't mad at the, at the one she asked the price of. Wasn't oh, mad at it. Was okay. it, it, it wouldn't have been great. good on her. No. But I would have been interested to try it on. Sure. Personally. I could see it on like Catherine Hepburn. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's why I was like, yeah, I like it. Yeah. Where they all look the same, I love, they all have the same eye makeup and this sort of like dead-eyed, like, we hate ourselves, uh, secretly stare. How much is this, Marie? It's very expensive. It's very expensive. You're obviously in the wrong place. Please leave. <gasps> Bitch! I was like, ah, you do you, Julia. And she's yeah. like walking down the street, I'm like, oh, fuck. Like, this is the first time we kind of see her... Dejected. Dejected and, and actually being offended. She felt impotent and out of control, which she really hates. Both on Rodeo Drive. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, that's cute. I wonder if they have it in my size. <laughs> she leaves with the pack. <sighs> well, and this is when we first we get our first real scene with Hector Elizondo. Yes. As the manager of the hotel. The scene could play real gross. Mm -hmm. Um, but he keeps it very sort of professional. Is what I'll say, like, he's, like, matter-of-fact about it. Naturally, when Mr. Lewis leaves, I won't see you in this hotel again. I assume you have no other uncles here? Good, then we understand each other. He talks down to her in a way, but it's very much just like, this is my job. Right. It's not personal. No. We all know what's going on yep. here. Um, I'm not judging you. This is what's happening. This is how I need this to go down for yep. me. But then she's like, I tried. I tried to buy clothes. Yeah. He gave me all Look of this money. A wad oh, of this like one. wrinkled ones. How much cash did he get her? Because I mean, that dress had to cost at least five to eight hundred dollars. Back in on, the nineties. On Rodeo. On well, Rodeo. on Rodeo though, yeah. What's the end game here? You well, know, she buys an outfit for everything for a week. You know what I mean? It's like, is she gonna sell this? <laughs> Later for rent. Yeah, right. Is she gonna keep it and be like be a like super be fancy like a on really Hollywood Boulevard? High class, high end. High I end. Mean, maybe she could. She, she could be a madam. She could start her own business. Or she could at least get that Beverly Hills money. Yep. And then she could buy some clothes for Kit and get Kit in on it, and they would just work the high end gig. She, she could become a madam. And sure. Just be fabulous. Yes, and help all of these girls the get Beverly, in on the Beverly Hills madam. True Beverly Hills. Would you say? Now, I'm not mad at that idea. Right? True Beverly Hills, but it's literally just a... Heidi Fleiss. <laughs> yes. Intermittently between all of the shopping and her, like, hanging out by herself at the hotel, we keep cutting back to serious business meetings. But every time they're in a business meeting, it's just 
50 shades of gray. Every, the walls are gray, everyone's suits are gray, the tables are gray. Of course, April. Gray, gray. She brought a, color into she his life. Did, she's red. She, she did. No, it's, I mean, it's good visual storytelling, yeah. but it's like almost laughably sure. bleak and devoid of color. Sure. For whatever reason, I was like really invested and interested in the business. <laughs> you were? <laughs> but I think part of that is because the business deal mm -hmm. becomes part of the plot. Right. So you want to be kind of involved and like, like interested and like oh. trying to follow it and they give you enough to try and follow right. because it is supposed to show his character growth. Exactly. It's part of his arc. Yes. Well, and we haven't even talked about Ralph Bellamy. Old man Ralph Bellamy. No. So he's fa a famous old 40s actor. Oh. He's the James Marsden of the 40s. He's that guy that they don't get with and then decide to be with Cary Grant. <laughs> he's that guy. He's like, he was like really handsome and blonde and like, oh, he's yeah. so cute. But he's not Cary Grant. <laughs> Very few people are Cary Grant. I mean, although I feel like James Marsden he's, never deserved that. He's slowly earning the girl. But there was a period <laughs> of time there where he was like, yeah, that fucking guy that's not Ryan Gosling. I mean, when you're in the notebook, it's like, absolutely. Right? Like, sorry, dude. She's going with Ryan Gosling. He <laughs> wrote her every day. Every day for a year. We should write to review the notebook. Shit, yeah. Well, and then, I mean, Bridget and Hector Elizondo are like oh. defo getting together by the end of the movie, right? I, that's what it seemed like, right? Yes, Bridget, hello. This is Barnard Thompson here at the Regent Beverly Will. <laughs> Thank you. Barney said you'd be nice to me. <laughs> He's very sweet. It's like... They're at the wedding, for sure, as a date. For sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. In the post credit scene where they're getting married. If only. This is when we first start to really see her bring out the playfulness in him. Mm. The phone's ringing in the hotel room, oh. and she answers it. Never answer, answer the, the phone. phone. Well, then why are you calling me? We'll be ready at 7.45, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Chitty okay. chat chat. And then he's like, call her again. Wait, wait, wait. Try that one more time. Mr. Ducky wanted to see you. Yes, tell him I'm in the middle of a very important phone call. Hello? I told you not to pick up the phone. Then stop calling me. <laughs> and he he turns away work. There's a secretary comes up yep. to him. Oh he's yeah, calling Hold her on. Back. Very he's calling phone her phone. back. Oh, it's really important. Hold on a second. And so that's the first sort of signs it's of true. like, oh, she's changing him. You yeah. know, she's melting his cold, cold business heart. His gray, his bleak gray heart. So she's bought the cocktail dress. <gasps> oh. He's late. He can't see her. He can't find her in the in the bar. In the lounge. So she, <gasps> she turns around. Oh, there just happens to be three other dynamically red-headed, curly women. Right. <laughs> it was good. Who could she be? <gasps> oh, it's her. What? <laughs> oh, God, the pony. ponytail. I mean, it looks like... Um, I mean, it looks like Alexis Mateo. Oh, it's yes. It's like Andrea Ferris ponytail. <laughs> <laughs> she sees a top hat. Their tits out. Right? I mean, yes. I mean, yes, but no. But, but no. Oh, boy. But, oh, this was bad. Well, we get to go to dinner. All the forks. Uh, the salad comes at the end of the meal. That's the fork I knew. I like that it didn't matter. <laughs> you know, and the, the old, you know, down to earth guy is like, I can never tell them apart either, right? I don't know about you, but I've never been able to figure which goes with what. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite an accent. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's my old timey man accent. Look at that. The, what was that called? Uh, the, I have no idea. The escargot? The escargot holders? The tongs? Tongs? Escargot tongs? She's trying to force them apart? Yeah. That's slippery little suckers. Slippery little suckers. Happens all the time. I caught it right out of the air. It was funny watching this now and realizing that it's quite literally just Princess Diaries. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. It happens all the time. I mean, it's like just Princess Diaries, but in high school, and she's not a prostitute, <laughs> essentially. I mean, they're the same movie. It's and you know free what? Bananas Not Mad. It's why the Princess Diaries it's works. The formula that works. I love that movie, and we should also retro review that. Yes, yes. Remember when she tries to eat the whole mint leaf? <laughs> oh, yeah, she said, she's like, this is terrible. Oh, God. So, well, we find out Richard Gere is afraid of heights. Oh, yes. I, I can't go on the balcony. And then she's sort of sitting up on, she sits up on the, oh, yes. oh, on she the, starts the edge. Him. And this, somehow with the dress and the weird mat behind her, green screen, something was going on with her hair for sure. It seemed like she was just going to fly away on a broomstick, you know? <laughs> Look, 
Maybe it was the lighting of the backdrop or like Something the city about or whatever. Just, I was like, if she had gotten on a broomstick, <laughs> wouldn't have been surprised. Nope. She's like, let's just veg out. Let's veg out. Mm. Just like lay and on the like, ground like broccoli. Like, yeah. You know, like veg, like veggies, like lay down like broccoli. Veg out. Yeah. Be still like vegetables. Lay like broccoli. Well, he's still brooding over the, the reminder of his loss of his father. I had forgotten his father died a month, a month. ago. Yeah. Like, that was intense. Yeah. They really did a good job, though, of, like, starting to unpack that, where it's like, unpack oh, him. Oh, yeah, there's a lot going on down here. I hadn't spoken to him in 14 and a half years. I wasn't there when he died. Do you want to talk about this? No. Do you want to talk about this? Not really. No. Okay, cool. great. Should we go veg out? <laughs> Out. Should we watch the end of Charade? Yes, we should. Because also you guys should all go watch Charade. And then we get the, um... The piano scene. The sexy, I mean, it's sexy. Is it? I mean... It's half sexy. It's sexy because it's kind of a little different. Let's see that shot where she's just like, uh, yeah. and then he's like, uh. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, I, I it guess, always seems like it's like from a music video. I mean, it, you a little bit. Like, and then the curtains were blowing behind them, and like, nah, something about it. It just wasn't quite sensual enough for me. There's something sexy in theory about it. With yes. Like the chords, the dissident sure. piano chords. <laughs> I like that he is going down on her, like sure. she is getting pleasure, that he's yes. giving her only kind of thing. I enjoy all of that. And then we get introduced to our final big character, Larry Miller, the shopping guy, the dad from 10 Things. Yes, 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 love it. Oh my what God. are we talking, an obscene amount of money? Exactly how obscene an amount of money were you talking about? Just profane or really offensive? Really offensive. I like him so much. <laughs> oh, I like him. Disgusting. We're gonna need a lot of sucking up because yeah. that's what we like. Do you have anything in this shop as beautiful as she is? Oh, yes. Oh, no. Oh, I no! Mean, I mean, as, as beautiful as she would want. <laughs> Who ordered pizza? <laughs> it's just so stupid. <laughs> the whole thing is the stupidest and I love I it. I love it. Well, you know what? This is Princess a Diary. fantasy scene from Princess Diary. It's like the same thing where it's just like, what would a 16-year-old girl want? This. You brought pizza while I get to pick out any clothing Shopping, I want? Any clothing yeah. I want. Shopping montage. Love it. Makeover. And they tell me how great I am? Love it. We're gonna need a lot more sucking up. For her. <laughs> Bird. Me. Mary Pat, Mary Kate, Mary Frances, Tova, let's see it. Come on. Oh, it's silly and yeah. stupid. And yeah. I love it. Yeah. I did not love her mustard wide-legged pants with like a scare that scarecrow jacket no, with the patchwork no. and the I mean I was like, where are you wearing that girl? But she does pick up some great outfits. Oh, I loved it. That The suit, the backwards, like, deep V suit. And the cute little party dress. Well, and then she walks down the street in this oh fabulous... Oh, the white, the Joan oh, Collins outfit? Yes. Oh, my God. Ugh, oh, with the hat and... The, oh, then this is where the iconic... I mean, this is the most iconic yes, moment of the movie. absolutely. You work on commission, right? Big mistake. Big. Huge. I have to go shopping now. I have to go shopping. Well, then we get to my favorite outfit. It's been my favorite it's the first time I saw it. Wow. It's still my favorite, her polo outfit. I love it. She's got her little hat, the matching polka dots, and the wide, tight Diane Keaton belt. I love it. It was great. The it's purse. like the outfit the purse is great. And we get the little divot dance. Yes, the stopping of the divot. Burp. That was like the match game song. When that happened. Yeah, go get him! Woo, 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 woo. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the weirdest thing is the funniest line from Amy Yazbek is 80 yard. Oh, hey, it's me, Elizabeth from Workout World! Oh, but, like, yeah. we, don't, we don't see it, it's totally off camera. What was that? Hey, it's me, Elizabeth from Workout World. I really wanted more Amy Yazbek. Oh my god. I want to get into what's going on with her because yeah. she has to be married to gross. Oh. Lawyer, schmucky Jason Alexander, and you're yeah. like, oh no, no. what's going what on? Happened there? Oh, Jason, oh no, oh. I mean, he's like definitely cheating on her. Oh, for sure, possibly with men. We will talk about it. <laughs> no, we'll get if, into it. It. if it's we'll not, if it's, if it's not, not Richard Gere, Richard then he doesn't <laughs> want no one at all. That is why I have pledged my eternal love to you. 
And I liked how this scene played out. So Jason Alexander is getting suspicious of Vivian, right? He's right. like, who is she? Oh, really? She's, She's over there talking to Ralph Bellamy's grandson. Yeah. Like, I, you know, he's, he, the whole movie he's been very paranoid and very in Richard Gere's business. But he's really like trying to get it out of him. Like he right. doesn't know what it is, but he's right. just like digging in and digging yeah. in. How do you know that this girl hasn't attached herself to you because she's bringing information back to Morse? This happens. Yeah. Industrial Phil. espionage. Phil. Goes Phil. On the Phil, she's not a spy. She is a hooker. It doesn't play out like um, he's bragging that she's a prostitute or no. anything. It's not gross. It sort of naturally slips out. It's like, just like, calm down. She's not fucking a spy. As like, part of yeah. like conversationally, like he's right. like, I need to quell this or yes. whatever. And and he says later when he's apologizing, like, I wasn't prepared to answer questions about us. Yeah. And so I fucked up. Yeah. And I just liked how that was handled. Yeah. And then we get, oh, their big fight. It's always good when the fight is kind of sexy. Yes. Right? Where you're like, oh, but they each other so much, but it's sexy. But they're hate. Oh, oh, he's such an asshole. Yeah, oh, like, but I love him. Make oh, it you know, or whatever. Yeah. You don't owe me. I decide. Okay, I say who. I say I, when. I say who. I refuse to spend the next three days fighting with you. I said I was sorry. I meant it. That's the end of it. I've never been felt so dirty because he. Yes. When I'm in my, I love this. When I'm in my my own clothes, at least I know I'm prepared to handle when someone gross like that hits on me, and I'm ready for it. But I was not in that headspace, and that's just so much worse than all of that and it's just like ah oh. and then he's being a real dick i've never had anyone make me feel as cheap as you did today somehow i find that very hard to believe uh, put the money on the bed you know it's like real like oh no the spell is broken yeah but then she leaves the money <gasps> and then he gives a really great apology by the elevator he really does when he's like i saw you talking to the grandson and i did not oh, like God. it I was just talking to him. It wasn't a big deal. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. I saw you talking to David Morse. I didn't like it. Ah! Jelly! <laughs> He's sort of vulnerable to her, and then we get her whole backstory, which I thought was handled yeah, very well. It was. So one day I did it. I cried the whole time. But then I got some regulars, and, you know, it's not like anybody plans this. It's not your childhood dream. It's like very it was, open yes. and honest and she's not hiding who she is or what she is doing and with yeah. her life and he's not judgmental about it. And she's it. not making excuses for she's it. She's not making excuses for it. She's just like, this is how it is. And he isn't like, oh, I can't right. handle this. Oh, right. you've obviously slept with a bunch of other men. Like right. he, he could easily be gross and jealous and be like, sure. you know, you're too dirty. Like, you know, like it could have gone that way. Yeah. And he's very, like, open-minded about it. People put you down enough, you start to believe it. I think you are a very bright, very special woman. The bad stuff is easier to believe. They took the time, yeah. right? It was like yeah. the movie slowed down to have a moment. Yeah. And I'm like, I feel like they... Lately, movies just don't do that. No. But it's like, let's just have a moment and sit in it. Please. Right? Because it really makes all of it the It literally difference. makes all the difference. Like, if this scene wasn't in this movie, mm -hmm. wouldn't have worked as well. No! Particularly rom-coms, I feel like. It's just like montage, sure. montage, 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 and the movie's over, and you're like, Oh, I that hate was... you. Oh, okay, you... Yeah. Now you did some big romantic thing. Like, the end of this movie wouldn't... I mean, it's, it's absurd and it's a fantasy, but, like, it wouldn't have the gravity or the emotional weight behind it if you didn't have all these other scenes. Exactly. Where they're learning from each other and yep. growing and changing yep. each other and yep. you know getting yep. closer and all Real, of that. Real, yeah. And this movie manages to do that and have a bunch of montages. A makeover montage. Possibly the greatest makeover montage in movie history. I'm sorry. What? I mean, it's close. Oh my God, we're there. We're at the opera. Oh! <laughs> that whole thing with the jewelry box, you know, oh, that whole thing. <gasps> yeah. Improvised. Love it. By Richard Gere. Love it. I always thought this was weird because I personally don't really love opera. Mm. Maybe you have different feelings. I really like the opera. Different feelings about this, this, this very, very weird monologue. People have a very interesting response to operas. Either they love it or they hate it. They may grow to like it, but it will never truly live in their soul. And you're like, whoa. It's a lot. It's a lot. It was like a lot to take in. And her face is like, okay. All right, but did you see this ledge over here? Oh my god, look! <laughs> oh, my it's broken. So but then she has an emotional breakthrough because well it's La Traviata mm. which is about a wealthy man and a prostitute and them falling in love of course it would be of course it would be you know it's like and that makes the scene even they're better. not they're not picking like the magic flute 
Oh boy. Well, then that makes her response even because like she's like, it's an Italian. How am I gonna know what's going on? He's like, you'll know. Yeah. It's in your soul. Um, and she, you know, you, the power of opera. You know, like her acting is great because it's like she gets it. Yeah. She gets what the opera's about, yeah. and, and it's like truly impactful to her. And you're like, ooh. And then the lady. Did you enjoy the opera, dear? Oh, it was so good, I almost peed my pants. She thought it was better than Pirates of Penzance. I don't know why I'm being British, but whatever. I liked it. It was yeah, good. Yeah. Is opera in your soul now? Exactly. It better be. It was. <gasps> oh, they bonded. Oh. So good. And this red dress. Oh my god, this red dress. We didn't talk about it. <laughs> Nothing else is gonna fit in here. Okay. <laughs> and the neck was perfect with the dress. I mean, there's no way he could have I mean, known. He did Although I guess he did buy them. Of course he knew. He didn't decorate the penthouse. He has great taste. Sure, exactly. Not his home. I'd love to see his home. I was into it. I was like, let's go back to Park Avenue. Yeah. He finally is getting some sleep. Right. Oh, he's Sleep. He's always so asleep, mm. or whatever. I mean, I was like, let him sleep then, but also right. then, like, like oh, she just she had the urge. Oh my! But God. I liked that they set this up too. This movie yeah. is really good. I mean, it is shocking how good it is. Right? There's really. so much depth and like detail because they set this up earlier where he like kind of wants to kiss her, but then they don't. On the piano, she yeah. like does yeah. it, and it's not really obvious. No, it's she's not like, not like oh, like, oh, stay away from me. Yeah, but, like, she's just sort of like, no, I'll kiss you on the neck. Yep, yep, yep. It's yep. not time yet. Exactly. I'm not there yet, personally. Yep. But then, oh, oh, the seal is broken. Oh, yeah, and they make out. And, and then, then they like make out. And then they presumably fuck. Oh yeah, they fully fuck. So it's the morning after they've kissed on the mouth. Oh. Sorry. Okay, you got excited. <laughs> well, because she said, I love you. Right, they're like cuddling and she's just like, I love you. I love you. We get sort of his proposition that the week is coming to an end right. and he's like, I want to see you again. And she's like, oh, really? Like she's excited yeah, and then yeah. he's like, I'll get you a condo, I can do this, I'll buy you clothes, you can have an expense account, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, oh, fuck. Yeah. It's like, oh, you want to be with me, but you also want to own me. Right. You can leave some money by the bed when you pass through town? Vivian, it really wouldn't be like that. How would it be? She basically is like, that's not good enough. And he's like, that's all I could give now. Like, this is even a step for me. Right. Um, well, they didn't quite have that conversation yet, did they? Yeah, I mean, he's... I thought that was like in his apology later. <gasps> oh, when she's in the peach suit. He's like, stay. Stay. Stay the night with me. Well, not because I'm paying you, but because you want to. I can't. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. It's really good. Yeah. Well, and so this was interesting. This was a really impactful moment where she's, he's like... Well, for one thing, I'm gonna get you off the streets. That's just geography. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh shit, because it's the like, same thing. It's just like, he wants to be her only, or right. does he? I don't right. know. It's like Irma La Douce. It's a Billy Wilder movie. Great. It's like Shirley MacLaine. It's like a prostitute. And then Jack Lemmon falls in love with her. But she's like, I still have to be a prostitute. And so he starts working like 20 jobs so he can pay to be her only, but he keeps dressing in different disguises. So he's like, I'm your regular Mr. So-and-so and I'm your other Mr. So-and-so. So he's just like working to then fuck her, but like so they can be exclusive. I mean, I kind of love it. It's pretty great. And she then tells her him her whole like Rapunzel fantasy. My mom used to lock me in the attic and then the night, the white knight would come and save me. But never in all the time that I had this dream did the knight say to me, come on, baby, I'll put you up in a great condo. So then she gets her pep talk from Kit. She's like, I mean, maybe it'll work out. Name one girl. Name one girl that it'll work out for. Cinder fucking Rella. <laughs> <laughs> like the movie's aware of what a fantasy it yes. is. And, and for all the like, I'm sure there's plenty of people that ha have issues with this film and like the content and like how it addresses things. But I think the reason I'm okay with it, aside from all the other things we already said, is it's not trying to change the world or like oh, no. or like um, make some huge statement or solve the world's no. problems. It is a fantasy. For me, it's a fantasy that 
covers all of its bases. Mm -hmm. And for that reason, I, I still really, like, I love a fantasy. Like, this is my favorite kind of movie where it's just like, oh, yes, and then they had the Bentley rapper. Like, that's just, I'm a sucker for it. Right. But a lot of times they fail because you don't, they don't do they don't all the of their due, due diligence. And yeah. they don't take the time to set it up properly. Yeah. And they really do that in this. And so you feel extra like oh. fantasy about it. It's like oh. extra sweet and gooey. I mean, maybe you could buy a house and diamonds and a horse. We <laughs> could work out. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. You know, get a house together and like buy some diamonds and a horse. I don't know. Anyway, it could work. It happens. Richard Gere has turned, he's made a deal with Ralph Bellamy. Yes. I'm oh, going to yes. support your company. Yeah, we're going to build the ship. Because they and... say like, oh, his stock is really going to go up. So we'll make a bunch of fucking money. Right. If, even if you don't sell the company. Right. So he's like, Let's do this. I've been changed by Vivian. I mean, he doesn't say that, but that's what happened. But so Jason Alexander comes over to the hotel to try to go yell at him. And yeah, he's like, I'm so mad I'm about so angry. This. You know, oh, he's not here. He's so gross. And she is so... Classy. She, she's playing it really quiet. Yeah. But it's so clear how uncomfortable she is. Yeah. Um, obviously, for obvious reasons. But like, he's being so just like, Bleh. I mean, you're just like, Bleh. Yeah. And then he tries to rape her and punches her in the slaps her in the okay. face and it gets really fucking real it gets really real and uh, richard Gere gets to save her which you know is cliched but you're like oh yeah you did it and then he really punches him in the face hey, that's a good it's punch. a really good one i mean they the whole thing is shot very um steady cam it's so it yeah. adds a lot of like visceral Intense. yeah like oh when he's dragging him across the yeah. room like get out yeah. of here so like Jason Alexander is like totes in love with Richard Gere, right? I, I mean. That is why I have pledged my eternal love to you. I said it halfway there. I was like, why is he so obsessed with him? Why are you so obsessed with me? Uh, Edward is definitely not with me. If Edward were with me, when? Actually, when Edward was with me. Weird. I Constantly, mean, every scene, where's Eddie? Where's that? Where's that? Where, yeah, what are you where, doing? What are you where, thinking? Where, where? Why is she changing? Oh my Who's god. She? I gotta yeah. fix you up with somebody. Yeah. Weird. Oh well, yeah, I thought this was really great too, because so there's the ice, right? Because he punches him, and there's the ice going into the towel, and you're like, oh, it's for his hand. No, it's for her face. He's a classy gentleman. He is. We find out that she is gonna move to San Francisco. Hey, Kit, do you wanna go with me? And leave all this? Leave all this? But then she doesn't. I'm gonna have to charge you a little more rent than Vivian because I got this beauty course I'm looking into and I'm not gonna be there that much. But she, she says, you know, when we see her later talking to that other girl, she's like, I'm gonna take sewing class. What did she say? I'm gonna yeah. taking like fashion classes or something. So she's on a path. Yeah. And then we get the big stupid romantic gesture at the end. Yeah. It must be difficult to let go of something so beautiful. You know, Daryl also drove Miss Vivian home yesterday. It's gotta be tough leaving something so beautiful behind. Uh, <laughs> I mean, he's basically Not a guardian the angel. He's a guardian angel. Yeah. It's Princess Diaries. Vivian! Faces his fear of heights. Oh, yeah. Climbs, climbs that fire escape. Yeah. That. Da da da! Shot! <laughs> the roses are ba ba ba! It's good. And, the, you know, they, he's uh, taking a step forward towards her. So, what happened after he climbed up the tower and rescued her? She rescues him right back. Because they did save each other in a exactly. way, you know what I mean? That's yeah. like the whole point. Like, she melted his cold, cold heart. His cold, cold business heart. Right. Which is why none of his other tricky relationships ever worked. She's got her hair back in sort of like an okay ponytail. Oh, right. And then she sees that he's coming and she's, oh, I have to... Those little moments where she's so like natural and like that's something you do. Like, oh, I gotta zhuzh. There you have I'm it. Not really shocked, but I feel like maybe some people will be shocked to find out that we think this fully, fully holds up. Oh, I don't, I don't know. think so. I don't know. I mean, whatever. I don't it's care if you're shocked or not. It holds up. It's fucking great. Richard Gere is sexy. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Julia Roberts is a charismatic angel. She really is. <laughs> I would say. Definitely rewatch it. Rewatch this movie. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's streaming on Hulu, so that's easy enough to do. Yeah. And then it's just like, anytime. It's yes. great. It's, you know what this is also great for? Like, I don't know why, but like, if it was a rainy day, yeah. I'd make myself a grilled cheese, some tomato soup, okay. and watch Pretty Woman. Hey. That sounds like a fabulous afternoon. So specific. Can mine be cashew cheese? Of course. Okay, great. 
chair. Reg, Bev, Will. 